is happening. Thanks, guys. Thanks for returning. Dudes and dudettes. Yeah, right. Smash. Smash away. Sweet. Uh, hey, today I've got this really cool Stephen Carpenter, the 208 in an affordable eight string eight. Five, six, seven, eight. I mean, I have a hard time just playing six, never mind eight. But uh, here we are. We are got this thing in my hand thanks to Long McQuaid and LTD. Thank you so much. All I got to say is this is a an epic piece of equipment. Um, I'm not, I don't usually play a lot of eight string, rarely. I've done some stuff in the past, but overall, uh, considering the width of the neck alone, it's actually quite not bad. I was expecting like a skateboard, but it's actually pretty good. Very well done. I mean, <coughs> other companies that do the eight string, I mean, I've been as with Meshuga, uh, Corns in the seven. There's a few bands out there with eight. I'm not too rehearsed with, but you know, with Deftones and Stephen Carpenter, amazing player. He's such a heavy rhythm player and all his his overlays and everything else that makes this sound scope of his guitar playing just really cool. Um, yeah, I just I could sit back and listen to Deftones for hours. So, but here we are with this sucker, and um, yeah, really cool. I mean, I was like, I saw it. I was like, wow, that's a pretty massive freaking guitar. But here we are. This is it. I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, not an extra, but a bolt on, so very affordable. This one actually is sitting at Long and McQuaid in Abbotsford for an, an, an amazing 199 it's used, but it is immaculately used. There's, there's not a dent in this sucker. It's brand new. And uh, with the EMG 208s and this massive, look at the size of that headstock. Oh my God, it's huge. But it's, uh, yeah, it's a very impressed, very impressed with the reach and everything else. It's it's a wide neck, but it's a thin neck, so you, you, know, you can get your hands around it. Um, Let's just blast a couple things of what this, what's got this guitar, and uh, you know what's made of it, kind of stuff. So, here we are. This is the uh, SC208 Stephen Carpenter, bolt-on neck, um, 25 and a half scale, um, rosewood body, maple neck, rosewood fingerboard, and uh, it's got the awesome U-line. Um, they call it the U U neck contour. Uh, 24 and jumbo frets. We've got the chrome hardware, LTD tuners, and of course the fixed bridge with the designed 308s. My bad, 308s for the uh, the pickups. I'm not a big guy who uses a middle pickup, but I know with John Carpenter, he's, he's it's it's that balance of heavy but a little bit clean. So he uses a lot of cleans with his stuff. Um, Today we're just gonna blast through some heavy stuff. And uh, yeah, do you have one? Comment down below. I'd love to hear from you if you actually got one of these things. What do you guys like about it? Um, but let's run through. So uh, volume, one tone, two pickups, one, two, three, three-way toggle switch, and of course, a whole lot of LTD for you, for you, for you, for you. Absolutely, and you. All right, let's run through a couple things here. And uh, yeah, I mean, Run through my usual stuff, right? My two nose torpedo and my Marshall JCM 2000. Ah, uh, nothing really special, a little bit of delay in the background. Let's do this. <laughs>
Wow. I mean, you can do lots of layering, but it, um, it sounds pretty cool. Let's go to the middle pickup. Actually, <laughs> um, yeah, both together, I guess this would be. That's a whole lot of bottom end, let me tell you. Um, all right, and then let's go through the middle pickup all on its own. Um, it's going to be tough getting it over a cell phone unless you're watching it on your computer or whatnot. But um, yeah, I mean, got to change your settings. That's the one major thing. I haven't really done it on my app. I'd basically plug and go. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely change my EQ a little bit, take down some of the lower end because there's just so much low end on this puppy. Uh, definitely something you'd have to think into doing. Uh, change your EQ settings. Um, like I said, I haven't really done mine. So you're going to get kind of a muddy feel. With unless you, if you're using the six string now, put it that way. You've got a little bit of low end. You, you're kicking it up a bit, right, to get that body. You ain't gonna need it in this, so definitely back it down. So, but before I go any further, House of Chingosos, uh, another freaking awesome shirt from them. So big shout out to them. Thank you so much. Uh, love those guys. Check them out. Information down below. Los House of Chingosos. All right, um, but yeah, dude, check it out. If you got one of these, if you are looking for an eight string. Um, a good entry level, this would be a good entry level. That way at least you're not breaking the bank. If you're not really happy with it, you find a used one, about 200 bucks in Canada. Um, you got Marketplace, you got you know, Craigslist, and you've got used departments and guitar centers down the States and of course across Canada. So if you do find one of these, like this one is in Abbotsford, do check it out, all right? Uh, other than that, I've been Steve. You guys have been great. Hopefully this review helps. It's a pretty good guitar. I do enjoy playing it. Sounds cool, but uh, yeah, catch you on the flip side. See ya, and hey to Deftones and Stephen Carpenter. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm.